Hi, I'm Elizabeth Johnson, and I'm the resident physical therapist here at MedFax. And I'm here to talk to you about the care and use of your electrodes. I think this is about take seven. Um, but I also wanted to mention before we get started that um, your electrodes and the supplies that you'll need for your electrotherapy treatment may be covered by your insurance company. If you just give us a call, we can work through those issues with you um, so that you can get all the supplies you need for your electrotherapy treatment and not have to pay for everything out of pocket. Now we're going to talk about how to take care of them so that they'll last the longest with for you. First of all, um, you want to make sure whatever area you're going to be using your electrodes on, uh, the skin is clean and dry. And if you are a very hairy person, you may even want to consider um, shaving the hair to remove it so that you get better stimulation. That hair is going to cause an increase in resistance. Um, secondly, when you, when you go to remove your electrodes, they, they come on a plastic strip. And when you go to take them off the, that plastic card, you want to peel them up from a corner. You never want to pull your electrodes off by the wire because you could actually um, pull the um, wire right out along with the area of the um, electrode uh, metal part inside. Um, so be careful handling them and peel them from that side. Um, the other thing that you want to think about um, prior to placing them is um, preparation of the skin. Now I've said that it needs to be clean and dry, but if you have other issues, you may even want to consider, um, such as high perspiration, you may want to consider um, a skin prep. This can be used, um, this here is a pretends skin prep. And this can be used if you have um, highly sensitive skin um, where you've seen after using them, after using the electrodes for treatment that your skin is uh, red or itchy um, or irritated. So you could use this first and it places a thin coating um, right over the skin so that you're actually attaching the electrode to that coating and not directly to your skin, but it allows the electricity to flow right through. Um, Another product also in that same vein is the TENS Clean Coat, which is another protective skin dressing wipe um, that these come, these come in a box and each one is there individually packaged. Again, it's placing a coating on the skin, allowing better adherence of the electrode and also um, helping if you have a sensitive skin issue. Then once you're um, ready to place that on, you would just place that right on your skin. And, uh, You'll probably figure this out from experience, but um, if you are placing electrodes on, you know, on your back, for example, and then you're wearing the wires underneath your clothing, you want to think about which direction this wire is coming off. So if you've got the um, electrode on your back, you might want to make sure that the wire is going in a downward direction so that once you plug it into your cable, the cable can come out your shirt, and then you can attach the unit directly onto your belt and not have wires going every which way. Um, once you're um, ready to remove your electrode, again, you're going to want to pull it up from a corner, not pulling from the wire, and simply remove it. And you can use this adhesive remover on your skin afterwards if you've used one of these preparations beforehand to completely get that coating off of your skin. Um, now, in caring for your electrodes, after you have removed this from your skin, it's actually pulling up little tiny skin cells and which are going to adhere onto the sticky surface of the electrode. And to remove those um, and make your electrode actually last longer, you can use a little bit of water and an old toothbrush that you save for this purpose and simply wet it slightly and just brush that off and get some of that stuck on skin cells off of there. You would then let that, don't want to have it soaking wet, but replace it right back onto the plastic card for use another time. They'll last much longer if you keep them right on that plastic card. And then you would, could put them back into your package and place them in the refrigerator. Keeping them cool will allow them to last longer and um, have just the right amount of humidity to them. Um, another issue is that um, some people do have problems with perspiration. They have heavy perspiration, and the electrodes don't stick as well. In those cases, one of these skin preparations can help with that, particularly this uh, pre pretend skin prep because it also has an antiperspirant on it. Um, if you um, wear the electrodes while you're um, outdoors in hot, humid weather, or you wear them while you work because you're using TENS, um, while you work for pain control um, and you're perspiring, this could be a great product. There are also electrodes 
some that are made especially for um, different situations such as high humidity, um, sensitivity, etc. So please let us know what your particular needs are and we'll direct you to the electrode that's made best for you. And with just a little bit of care, they'll last a long time and you'll get the best results from your electrotherapy stimulation. Thank you. Yeah, one of the things that we have is once a patient has purchased an Infrex unit, and this also applies to any TENS unit, then they become eligible to use uh, and to be paid for by the insurance a group of supplies that is used with chronic pain. In this situation, you see a cold pack, you see Biofreeze, you see Tiger Bomb patches, which is great. And you also see right over here our aromatherapy patch, the lavender patch, which, which is for helping patients sleep at night. And the nice thing about that is we know with chronic pain patients, sometimes at night it's hard to sleep. But you can put all of this together in a kit, and the insurance companies, including Medicare, generally pay for the supplies that are included in the kit, and you get either one or two kits per month.